Say, man, y'all welcome back to another video here on No Sugar Co Podcast. It feels good to be back in the building, my boy, True Roy. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. Y'all already good? know what it is. All right, man. It's been a long time coming. Busy, busy, I tell you that. Holidays and everything else. Oh, yes. I've been busy. We had no time to be up in the studio, but we back on at the beginning of the year, right? In this new space, this new beautiful space, right? Beautiful space. Come on, man. Come on, man. So today, 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 we talking about some really good things. He put some good things on my mind, but what we going to do before we get started on this video, Roy? We got to do something. We going to give all praise and honor to God because he is the reason why we are here today. Do you understand what I'm saying? Got to give him an amen. Come on, man. So as we going over topics, as we talking and conversing some things out that we talk about, um, he, he brought me across something on social media that, that me personally, I haven't seen. I don't know about y'all. I haven't seen it. Maybe I work too much and I'm not on social media all day. I don't know, but I ain't seen it. But my question to you guys today, and the question we're going to be discussing, is what's a real man's job, right? So I'm going to let him play something for y'all so y'all can get some context on why we're talking about this today. Go ahead. That men should not do, especially grown-ass men, okay? For one, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you're a grown-ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you, all right? Leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown-ass men in his goddamn 40s flipping my goddamn burger, mm. okay? Let it go. Leave it alone. Okay. That job so, is not for you. So Anything in retail, okay? So, because she going to go, well, you could have kept it there and just paused it because she got three different sections she's talking about and we're gonna touch on each piece see but here's the thing it's instagram I you can just, you I can, can just click scroll. the you can click the video and seek seriously you know what <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm old god y'all don't, don't get me started <laughs> but did y'all hear what she said she said no. you can't be working so no fast real food. man can work in fast food that's what she so, said. So what, what defines a real man in the workforce? What, you telling me the job I have is what defines me as a real man? Of course. That's how it's always been. Is that how it should be, though? Well, you got to think, um, as much as we want to be progressive and as much as we want to allow women to be able to move forward in their prospects for a career, they're still going to see men as providers just by nature. Okay. You can see me as a provider, but does it matter how I'm providing for you? Yes. Because a real man is a dope dealer. That's, that's, that's a real man. Because obviously it, do, it, it does matter how we provide, but does it really? As long as I'm providing for my family and putting food on this table and paying these bills. See, but here's the thing. Some people don't care how it's got. They just care that it is got. Mm. But referring to that video, she cares how it's got. She does care about how it's got. So I can't work a fast food job because... That's not being a real man. Because you ain't going to got. So if I'm the store manager of a Whataburger, I'm not a real man? Man, I'm just going to keep it a stack with you. Um, $50,000 a year, $60,000 a year, a lot of women are not checking for that. That's, that's not good enough for a lot of women. Not all women, but a lot. Do you know the women. average in the U.S.? That is the average. It, okay, so... They it's don't odd, care. It's odd to me that the average in the U.S. is what, I think it's in the middle, I think it's $55,000. Man, a lot, a lot of women don't care. Do you not understand that on Tinder statistics, on POF statistics, they, women literally see 80% of men as below average. They want uh, what they want, and they want it the way that they want it. But you, they're not, not going to change it. it. They're not going to get it that way. That's, that's not, that's not the matter. real world. They, they still want it. That ain't going to change the fact that they want it. What do you think that stems from? Where do you think that come from? High expectation. Why do we have these high expectations set up on, on us men by these women? So Why do you media. think that is? See, this is what it is. P women will come in, they'll see things, and they think they'll deserve it. Mm. They, they'll see things, they'll see people that have a high lifestyle. They're like, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm just as pretty as her. I, I, I believe I deserve that, too. I mean, it's okay to inspire inspire aspire for those things doesn't mean you actually deserve those things but nobody's going to tell them that because they can be told no wrong right well you also got to think about it like this i mean the level and access that the average woman has nowadays um it has allowed their their value and how they see themselves to balloon from something that they th that they normally wouldn't have been level set it on like a lot of times if a woman's a ford nowadays the world's going to treat her like she a nine 
Mm. It may not be by the minute she won't, mm, but it's gonna. But be somebody by gonna do it. Somebody gonna do it, and, and, and in turn, it's gonna inflate her mind to think exactly. That she is she, that she not. gonna. It's gonna make her think that she's something that she ain't, and she's gonna. Demand and she's gonna that that require attention. based upon what she thinks she is mm. versus what she actually is. But can that really be proven, bro? Is that something that can be proven? We don't have a woman here to speak on a woman's behalf. So is that something? That <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> you know, you gotta look like come that. Come on now. God damn. <laughs> come on now. You, you gotta look like real. that with a master you legitimate nah. question. Come on now. Come on. Come but, on. But, but come can on. Can it be but can it be proven that eighty <laughs> percent below average? Let that sink in. That's oh, not even mathematically God. possible. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? 80% <laughs> below average. This is what I Explain have to, to me how that is mathematically possible. How is it? It's not. Average is 50%. Okay. That's the middle. Okay. How was, so you're talking about another 30% on top of the middle being seen as below the middle. Explain to me how that's rational. It's not. It's not rational, but it's happening. Why do you think it's happening? Because of the access. Because of the society that we live in today. Too much access. Too much access, too much opportunity. It's the conundrum of choice. A lot of women feel like they have so many choices that it's hard for them to know that they actually have made the right one. How could you ever... Think about it like this. Mm. If you have to choose between one of two soaps in the aisle, it's pretty easy to choose which soap is better than the other. Yeah, okay. But if I give you 522 different bars of soap, <laughs> how the hell are you going to feel like you made the right choice? Okay. That's valid. That's valid. No, that, that's valid. I'm no. just saying, like, that's oh, maybe I should have got the extra strength stuff with extra cream with pie. Yes. I'm just saying. I need you to be <laughs> okay. What's the next thing she said on the video? Well, I mean, let's see. Let's God, see what got man, I apologize, y'all. He... List of jobs that men uh -oh. handing me a dress. Okay, why are you a grown you ass man back. working at Ross? That okay. makes absolutely so no sense. Okay, Ross. Target, Marshalls, like guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, okay. in Fine. college. But when so I can't work at Target. I can't work at Ross. Anything in retail, I can't work in. So a store manager at Walmart has the potential to make over two hundred thousand dollars a year. Has the potential to make, but that's not guaranteed. No, no, no. No, no, no. It depends on the market and the store that you're in. Most definitely. But from the, from the base, they are making six figures. Mm. Guaranteed. So you telling me that's not good enough? I work in retail, though. Technically speaking, I work see, in retail. See, see, but here's the thing. It's one thing if you say, oh, I'm CEO. It's, you know, I'm CEO. I'm, I'm, I'm the manager of a, of a big corporation. But when you say, I work at Walmart. Technically speaking, I do work at Walmart. Not the CEO, I'm a store manager. I run the building. I understand that. And, so see, that's not and, and see, the thing is, by nature, that would make you a boss. That would make you a okay, boss. So then but, but there's different levels of being a boss. They want you to be that top. See, women want men at the top. They want men at the top. And what they consider the top you may not consider the top. What if I'm not at the top, but I'm making the top money? You may be making top money, but a lot of women like, like the prestige of a job, the, the prestige of a career. So, like, part of it is the money. The other part of it is, like, the title, the position. You know, like, they, they want it to sound sexy. Like, there's a running joke on, on, a, on a show called Psych. Mm -hmm. with this black guy named Gus. Yeah, well, you know, I know he's about a, Psych. He's a sta stable black man, and he's like... I'm a pharmaceutical salesman. <laughs> like, that don't sound sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he's, uh, makes good money, it? he's stable, but it's like a pharmaceutical salesman. 
pharmaceuticals. I'm just saying. What exactly like, does Gus do, though? What is that? What is he, a pharmacist? He, 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 I mean, he works in medicine. He, he's selling medicine. He's in sales. You know, but, 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 but the thing is, like, a lot of women want the prestige of somebody that's, like, interesting. Like, they want that excitement. They want that spark. They want that drive. And if the and if the job title sound doesn't sound sexy enough to them, that to some degree can be enough to turn a woman off, depending upon the type of woman, so, of course. Depending on the type of woman. So you're telling me if I'm making, if I'm my regular, if my, my position in Walmart as a team lead, let's say for instance, or a coach, I'm making ninety grand a year. Yeah. You telling me that that through a woman's eyes. Yeah. That that's not good enough based off the job title that I have because I'm obviously bringing in more Depending money the woman, than yeah. the average that I'm bringing in because Depending. that woman on that video obviously don't so so okay let's play the next part because then I got another question to ask let's play the mm. the ending what was the last position she said that right. we can't be in? no police officers no firefighters no construction workers no mailmen no post office um if you consider that a high value man you're absolutely wrong okay there's nothing high value about making 70,000 a year you men that think working for the city is high value, it's actually not, okay? It's pathetic. It's sad, all right? I don't want my husband coming home smelling like trash. Yes, we do need people to take the trash out, but don't come to me thinking that that's a high value job. Absolutely not, okay? You guys need to go get some real careers, okay? Become an entrepreneur or something, all right? Own a Lamborghini or something. Like, you guys thinking that this, you driving around, here in a fucking Toyota and thinking that you're a high value man because you work for the fucking post office. You're absolutely wrong. Stop it. All right. You're low value. All right. And if you want a high value woman like me, okay. Before you need to switch your that. career path. Okay. <laughs> she don't want a man coming home spending like trash. Who gonna take out that trash if the man ain't gonna do it? Somebody got to do it. If your house get caught on fire, who coming to? The, the two fairy. If you if it's a robbery or you get mugged, who's coming to? Santa Claus. So he it, gonna he gonna bring a Christmas present. It's, it's gonna be an AR. It, it's it's it's, it's, <laughs> very, it's very odd to me that she has that idea of what a, a, a high value man is, but she will rely on that high value man in a certain situation. Nah, but here's the crazy thing. She'll rely on the on the. Isn't it crazy how women can rely on the men they don't respect? Because if her house were to get caught on fire, mm. she would be singing a different tune about that firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's valid. I'm that's just saying valid. that's valid. That's like valid. she would be singing a different tune about the police officer if she was seconds away from 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 getting great. Let's just keep it a stack. If she was getting saved from a legitimate issue, a legitimate crime, or, or, or if she was put in a position where, oh, my goodness, something happened, somebody had a heart attack, somebody close to her, and them paramedics came, and they, they walk in with that stretcher, and, and they're seconds away from saving somebody's life that she cares about, she's going to sing a different tune. Mm. But the fact that she has the audacity to come at these men like this, is absolutely insane. So, okay. Let me ask you this. Do you do you think she's legitimate about what she's saying or she's doing it just for the fame? I just think for she's the out of touch. You think she's out of touch? I think she's out of touch. You think she really doesn't Come think on about now. the police The average officer. man is not driving around in a Lamborghini. No. First of all, let me explain something to you. The way that she's talking, her mindset, she wants a man that is up that is of the upper echelon. The no, average 100%. man ain't, 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 ain't driving no Lamborghini, no Ferrari, no G-Wagon. That's not an average man's vehicle. Especially the kind of money you got to be making to afford a vehicle Exactly. Like that. You have to be. She wants a man that is of the top 5% minimum. So do you think a man's job, what he drives and what he has to find him? I think to a certain extent it can define him. But. The, I think one of my biggest problems with men nowadays is we don't let our code define us. We let things define us. What's our code? 
That's the thing. Every man's code is different, but every man needs to have one. If you don't have a code, what do you stand for? Because if, if you don't stand for nothing, you're going to fall for anything. Mm. You have to stand for something. And, and see, that's the thing. One of the biggest things that a man is supposed to have is character. And you believe that this society that we live in today, a lot of men don't have character. No. Mm. No, because we're not allowed to stand on nothing. Because as a man, if you stand on something nowadays, you have seen as toxic. So society in turn has made us the way that we are today. To a certain extent, but at the same time, who built society? Mm. So part of that is on us. Yes, it is. Because we, because yeah, we, yeah, we complaining about it, but we part of it. We still allowing ourselves to continue building it up. To you, what defines a man? What defines a man? A man is somebody who stands on a square, mm. holds things down, mm. holds people accountable, mm. holds himself accountable. And isn't afraid to be held accountable. A man is somebody that is being himself through and through, no matter what, right? A man is somebody that can provide, that can take care of, no matter, no matter, you know, no matter what. I'm not saying you got to be macho man and on the top and this, this and that. But I mean, I think, I think a man is a lot of definitions for what a man actually is. Do we actually really know? We never was raised by a man. I wasn't raised by a man. I was. I was raised by two women. I was raised by what I would like to call a courageous man. Okay. My dad, um, I remember the old house we used to stay at in his doorway in his in the master bedroom. There was a, a plaque on, on, on that was over the door and it said, I am a courageous man. Mm. That's what it said. See, I didn't get that luxury. So my idea of what a man is is totally different than yours. Understood. And I have to be able to, not saying that this is the end I'll be on, not saying this is what I'm looking for, but I have to be able to find a woman that can understand that. Mm -hmm. Because in the society we live in, the way I look at it, what a man is is not the same way that she would. Because it's very different from how we look at what a man actually is. The way you think a man is may be very different from the way I think a man is. Understood. But there's overlaps. Yeah, 100%. There's generally overlaps. There's, there's a commonly understood overlap as far as a man's ability to be able to provide and protect. I think that's the basis of anything of what a man actually is. Absolutely. That should always be the, the foundation. Yes. But I think it's more than that. It is more than that. There's, there's always going to be layers to it. The same thing for a woman. You know, the things that make women great and, and, and women majestic and women wonderful. These are all things that How do I basically say this? These are all things that when you understand are self-evident. Mm. And, it's, and it's like that with both genders. Mm. I like that. Damn. Man, that was good. That was good. At the end of the day, you know what? At the end of the day, man, no matter what job you have, no matter what car you drive, no matter what house you stay in, that doesn't, define, that doesn't define who you are. Your character is everything. Mm. The way you treat one another, the way you carry yourself, what you value is what defines you. So let me ask you this. Does a woman's career define her? And why not, if not, as opposed to a man? But see, the, the reason why I would say no to that question for the most part, is because we don't look at women as the providers. We don't look at them as a, as a career. We don't look at them as having that job. We look at them as caregivers. Understood. So, in turn, I mean, on the outside looking in, let's, 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 let's use the example that, of course, everybody would jump to. If you look at a woman as being a stripper, mm -hmm. right, um, does that define her character and who she is? Most definitely. You think so? Yes. Have you ever talked to a stripper? Many. Many? And you feel like that, you feel like the woman that you see in the club dancing is talking to you is the woman you thought she was when she walked in. You never had one where you were like, oh, you a lawyer outside of this? Are you going to, you never had one that really surprised Actually, you though? Actually, you was with me that one night. <laughs> that, that woman owned a whole trucking company. So do you think that stripping job really defines who that woman is? A portion, yeah. Okay. It may not define her the entirety of 
who she is. Okay. But it defines a significant part of it. Let's just keep it a stack. Okay. You know, like we as people are judged by the things that we do and the decisions that we make, mm-hmm. whether it be good, bad, or indifferent. Mm. So I'm guessing you feel like the job does define a woman. It's the same on both ends. I feel like the things that we do as people define us. Mm. No matter the whether, gender. Whether it be job, your actions, the continuity of your character, and what you do and how you treat people. Mm. All of these things define. contribute to mm-hmm. how people define, define you. you. That's what's most important. But I would like to define this woman is dumb as hell for saying that we don't need, <laughs> for saying that, that these men who pick up our trash yep. and protect us yep. and, and, and protect us from fires and run into the burning building are, are not, not high, high value, value men. Come on That now. just don't make no sense. I, I think, you know what, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. And I, and I want to just say, I hope you was just doing, baby, I hope you was just doing this for views and clicks. Because there's no way you define that man that, 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 that ran into a, a burning building to save a baby, a mother, and child that could potentially be your child. It's not a high-valued man. Matter of fact, how do you measure value? Because I will tell you this, if you're in a burning building and a firefighter uh, comes in and blasts through that wall and is ready to carry you out, bet you value that person's life pretty high yeah you might not value him when you're not in the building but when you're in that building shh, value goes up the value goes up you know mm, valid you you may not value a water bottle in your hand you know when you're you know by a water tower in a t- in the middle of a town by convenience stores and all stuff you might not value that bottle of water very much but if you dropped in the middle of a desert, you'll value that water bottle a lot more. So, I mean, let's just keep it a stack. Just because you as that woman don't see the value does not mean that those men don't have value. They have value to those who see it. Mm. I think it's not their fault that they don't have a high enough value. I think it's her fault that she doesn't see it. What jobs are left? If you can't work retail, you can't work government, and you can't work fast food, she, what's left? Because that's I like she wants, she wants you to be an entrepreneur. She wants you to create your own business. Watch, watch, the, you know, watch the conundrum. I'm going to create my own garbage business. I'm going to create my own fast food restaurant. I'm going to create my own... Clothing brand. You say you congratulations. Know, you know what's crazy you're, about you're that? back at square one. Let me tell you something. What's crazy about that? A lot of people don't realize because I I, I want to be the one to own multiple businesses. That's that's my mindset. That's how I am, and I'm gonna get there. Right? I'm doing a lot right now in my life. Just wait on it. But I think for her personally, I'm, and I'm just speaking from what I see. Right? I don't know this woman. At the end of the day, I don't think she's prepared to be able to support that man on that journey to be the entrepreneur. Because it don't happen overnight. Nah, she, she wants him ready-made, ready to go, hiding ready like Lil C. And what makes you think that you deserve that? That's the crazy part. Because she's her. Do you know how much work and dedication and time and energy? That man might have to work fast food and retail to help support that business that he's trying to create. Nine times out of ten, she's not trying to run the race. She's trying to wait at the finish line and pick the winner. She wants to be a trophy. Look, guys, at the end of the day, I hope y'all value what we said tonight. Hope y'all love what we talked about. I hope it sparks dialogue between you guys that's watching this video. And ask yourself, what, what does the, define an individual? Well, let's take the man and woman out of it. What defines an individual? And I love that question you put in there. How do you measure value? Yeah. That's a good one, man. Hey, this was good. This is good. I enjoyed myself. I hope y'all enjoyed y'allself. I hope y'all like what we're doing here. I like y'all like. I hope that y'all like the messages that we're trying to convey to you guys. I hope y'all are understanding and comprehending what we're saying. It's really making you think about certain things, right? I know we might not talk about everything and anything. We might not cover everything in this 20, 30 minute video, but it's to create the dialogue, the conversation, to comment, to talk about it. That's the point. Oh, yes.
And there's, there's so much more coming. It's not going to be just me and my man. See, I'm telling you, we got things coming. As you can see, we already uploaded the table talks. We have fun on the table talks. And there's plenty of more that there's plenty of that to come. Don't just 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 wait on it. It's a lot of things to try to figure out, and there's a lot of puzzle pieces to move and put together when it comes to this. And just know we're working hard at it every single day. I'm doing what I got to do on my end. He's doing what he got to do on his, on his end. Right here, truck driver, and I'm the one here moving a lot of the pieces. But he supports in the way he's supposed to. Got to do it. Hey, it's a good team here, a good duo. Happy New Year, you all, because we are here on the on the second of January. I know y'all not gonna. At this point, we upload, it might be God knows when. But yeah. we yeah. in the building, we here, and we recording, and we live tonight. Anything else you want to give to people before we get out of here, Roy? Like, comment, yeah. share, yeah. subscribe. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we all need to see the value in it. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we trying to make this a real career. Because do you think this will define us as men? A successful podcast? A successful, a successful podcast. business? Merch? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe our fans will define us. Maybe we should ask her. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs>